Hey, it's Carrie Oberbrunner. Great to have you guys here today. It is day four, uh, day five of five. Can you believe it? Day five of five with our six-figure author five-day challenge. And it has been unbelievable. It's been so exciting. <clears throat> I can't believe it. We, we are at uh, almost 3,500 people that are part of our free private Facebook group. And then we just got word that we have on pace for 10,000 people that are going to be on the live uh, bonus webinar tomorrow, which is how to become a six-figure author. That's that's like the creme de, de, what do you say? I don't even know what you say. It, it's it's the jackpot. It's the gold mine. But it's where we are going to just show you exactly the system and the model that uh, our other six-figure authors have used. And you're going to actually meet them tonight. So tonight, uh, you're going to meet two more of them. You can Google them. You can research them. You can check them out. Whatever doubts you have, you can do all your research on them. But it's uh, a guy named Jim and a woman named Linda. And they're going to be on tonight live at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. What they're going to be able to do is share with you guys how they took a book and turned it into a six-figure business. We have some great people with us today. We have Roddy. We have Rowena from Canada. Fantastic. We have Laura. She loves this format. Thank you very much. We have Catherine. We have Misty. Uh, Michelle says, wow. Jill says, awesome. Here's what I want to ask you guys to do. I want to ask you right now if you can share this because our goal is to get this out to as many people. Everything that I'm sharing today is free, and we're going to give you guys some free gifts. So anybody who shares this on their Facebook, I have Erica taking notes, and she's going to be able to give you a free gift. So after you share it, make sure you type in the word shared, and she'll do that. I'm going to jump over to my Facebook as well, and I'm going to share that. And here's the cool thing. Right now, thanks, Laura. I see you just shared that. That's awesome. Right now, what I'd like you guys to do is type in, after you share it, type in any questions you have, because I have some questions that I can obviously get to, but I also want to um, answer your questions. I'm here to serve you guys today, and so I'd love to be able to do that, and we are day five of five with this How to Become a Six-Figure Author. And I'm going to go back now to the green room. I love this. This Be Live uh, platform that I'm using, it integrates with Facebook. And what's really cool is that um, I didn't know how to use it six days ago. So if you were on the first one, I kind of I kind of made a fool of myself and, and just worked it out in real time. But what's funny is Be Live just picked us to be the best of be live they only picked four and so you guys thank you because you made it happen and it just goes to show that even though you don't think you know what you're doing which was the case with this platform six days ago people still got served and the message went out so i want to use that as a little encouragement that's a side teaching today that don't be scared of technology dive in there and make it happen Awesome. So we're going to get to, thank you, by the way, tons of you guys shared it. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. So now let's ask questions. So um, Luann says, have you ever written about your personal story of self-injury? Yes, I did. It's called Your Secret Name. But Luann, let me give you a little tip. This is a little advice for everybody. Go ahead, type in the comments right now. How many of you want to include some of your story in a book? If that's true, just put my story in the comments. If you want to share some of your story in a book someday, type in my story in the comments. And my guess is, Luann, that a ton of people are going to want to do that. Here's the trick. Don't write a memoir, okay? It's tough to take a memoir and turn it into a six-figure business with 18 streams of income. It's not impossible, but what I've done with my last three nonfiction books is I did include my story, but Luann, I branded it in a way that was not memoir-ish, and that is very strategic. Why? I wish I had my book on me. I'm at a different office today. 
But if I had your secret name, I would hold it up and it says your secret name. And it says discovering who God created you to be. In other words, I didn't brand it as Carrie's secret name or one man's journey through self-injury. I'm not saying those books are bad, but I'm saying that if you're not Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie, typically you don't want to brand yourself as a memoir. Now, there have been exceptions. I'm not saying it's wrong or anything like that, but I'm saying it's a lot easier to make the leap from nonfiction book that is um, about the reader. In other words, nobody needs to guess. It says your secret name, discovering who God created you to be. And as a result, Luann, that's really the advice I give authors. I say, look, definitely include your story in it. In fact, a lot of you guys are part of the Six Figure Author free five-day challenge. And Erica, if you can share that link, if, if people aren't part of it, how many of you are part of that? Go ahead and type in the word six figures if you're part of that. It is amazing. Um, you guys are just, wow, I, I'm, I'm blown away. Today's assignment, you actually wrote in what you would do with your six figures. And most of you did not say sit on a beach and drink cocktails. Most of you said, I would use the six figures to create this in my life. And a lot of you wrote freedom, or a lot of you wrote I, money could allow me to leave my day job and I focus on my passion full time. So this five day challenge is all about helping you guys take the first five steps to become six figure authors. By the way, if you just joined, thank you so much. Our viewers are just continuing to increase. That's really cool. I'm here to serve you guys today for the next 23 minutes. Answer any type of question I can about how to write, publish, and market your book and become a six-figure author. There is a system. There is a strategy. You're going to meet two of my students tonight, Jim and Linda, who actually have applied the model that I teach. And they were just like you, you know, six months, 12 months. 18 months ago, but then they followed the system. Many of you met Mary and Melissa and Derek already. These are just some of the many students that I've taught how to do this. And you can see all that for free. Just hop over to the free Facebook group. And she's putting that in there right now. Erica, thanks so much. Guys as well, if you can share this, that would be fantastic. Erica is going to give you a free gift at the end that will really help you. How much time do you need in order to do a proper launch for your book? Michelle, brilliant question. Love this question. Here's why. Most authors make a very, very big mistake. In other words, what they've done is they've put so much work into their book, right? Making it look good and this type of thing. And then they're like, you know what? I've never been pregnant, but I'm going to use a pregnancy analogy because most of my female clients use this analogy, so I don't think I'm insulting anybody. But they say that um, writing a book is like birthing a baby, right? And I'm told that when you get close to the nine months, you just want the baby out, right? You just, you're just done. Well, a lot of times authors make that mistake. They say, you know what? My book's ready to go. It looks fantastic. This is my passion. This is my heart. And there's that tempting little button right there that I can hit called publish. Sure, I'm scared, but then they hit it and they don't get any reactions. They don't get any response. Maybe it's like a little blip, you know, on their social media for one day. Why? Because they did it wrong. You need to create a launch around your book. And this is the exact system I teach. In fact, tomorrow I'm going to share that with you guys in the bonus webinar. And so, Eric, if you can share that link for the bonus webinar, I'm just told our team told me that we're on pace to fill 10,000 seats tomorrow. We just had to buy a bunch more. So those seats are going fast. We can't go past 10,000 because then you have to do this crazy thing that you, we just can't do because we've already started the webinar um, uh, launch. So anyway, we can only get 10,000. So the last few seats, it's anyone's game, all right? But here's the point. Michelle, minimum 30 days minimum. I prefer 90 days. I prefer a 90 day launch for your book. Now you might say, are you serious? Yeah, absolutely. Here's a few things that you need. And by the way, I'm going to teach you guys all this stuff tomorrow, like what that means. But your book needs a launch team. 
If you want to go and search around for my launch team for my last book called Elixir Project, you can, right? I had a 1,200 person launch team. Now you might say, well, that's nice. Good for you, Carrie. Look, if you do your launch team well, even my authors who have zero social media, they're not even on Twitter, they're not even on Facebook, or maybe they just started, they get around two to 500 people. If they're just brand spanking new rookies, right? 200 to 500 people on their launch team. Why? Because we show you how to build a launch team. You don't say, hey, everybody who wants to promote me in my book. No, not at all. That is a sure sign to attract the people you don't want to attract, right? There's a system where you can get very high valued people, people that are amazing, people like you. And I show you how to build that, Michelle. Then what you want to create also is called a digital press kit. It sounds fancy. It's a lot easier than you think. And I teach you how to do this as well. In fact, if you guys want to see my um, press kit, who wants to see my press kit? Anybody? I'll give it to you guys free. You want to see that? Um, go to, I got to think of this URL. Erica, if you can type this out. Go to elixirprojectbook.com slash media. I think that's it. I think that's it. Elixirprojectbook.com slash media. Now that's for a fiction book. Can you believe that? Um, and you might say you, you turned a, a, a fiction book into a six figure business. Absolutely. We did it in six weeks. Um, we created a course around the book and the course told you how to become unhackable, right? In work and life. And um, we had an event, we had a conference where over 170 people came to that conference. So within six weeks of the book launching, it had already become a six figure business. This is a fiction book. If you guys want that fiction book for free, um, Erica, if you could type this link in there, I'm, I'm making Erica work today. Thank you, Erica. But type out elixir.carryoverrunner.com. And Michelle, what you're going to see there is the fact that I bought you a $29.99 hardcover book that's going to teach you how to uh, take your dream and actually achieve it. Any type of dream, losing weight, um, uh, finding a good relationship, uh, having more meaningful conversations with your kids, starting a business. This is a system that you take your dream and you can actually do it. And get this, Michelle, it's through a fiction book because the fiction book then teaches you a system. And I don't, I don't believe people when they're like, oh, it's a fiction book. You can't make money off that or you can't, you can't uh, turn that into anything but a story. Baloney. I mean, come on, folks. Stop believing what Google tells you, right? Start believing what, you, uh, what your gut tells you. Right. Stop listening, listening to experts and start listening to your gut. And if if you believe in your heart, you're supposed to do a fiction book, do it, because every fiction book is based on real stuff, even sci fi like mine, a sci fi near future fiction book. And most of my readers say I never read fiction. But then I read it and, and I was like, wow, this is how you write fiction, but tie it to personal growth without even the reader thinking it. You have to know it before you read it. Otherwise, you don't even catch it. That's how tricky it is. So it's pretty cool. So, Michelle, you want 90 days to 30, 30 to 90 days to do a proper launch. All right, let's go to our next person. How will you know when you reach your goal of a million souls? Fantastic. I'll tell you how, Laura. Um, I'm not going to do it myself. In other words, I, um, I started a publishing company. I have over 300 authors that I personally work with and publish. And and tomorrow, I'm actually going to pick a few more. So do not miss that bonus webinar. Do not miss it. But here's the point, Laura. Um, I am going to ignite a bunch of people. I mean, tomorrow, I'm going to ignite 10,000, right? So far, the people who've seen this webinar are 60,000, which is awesome. But yeah, my books are going out, my podcast. But here's the difference, Laura. Here's, here's the change. I now see me living out my mission in you. Let me say that again. I see me achieving my mission now through my students. As I pour into my students like you, Laura, 
like Michelle, like Tanisha, like all these people on the phone call, they're now building businesses. They're writing books. And guess what? They never would have done those unless they met me with a process that I teach them. So guess what? Even though I don't get paid for any of their impact, in my mind, I feel um, privileged to serve them and partner with them. And so that's part of how we're going to reach 1 million is for me to invest in you guys, just like I'm doing today. How do we sell a book once it's published, meaning sell it on its income stream? Julie, that's what I'm talking about tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm teaching you exactly. I'm going to go through one by one by one, 18 different ways of selling your book. And I think you'll be pretty surprised. So I don't have time today because I have 14 minutes left. Tomorrow's a webinar that you're not going to see my face. It's a slide deck, but I'll announce the date so you know it's a, it's a real uh, webinar. Some people are like, you know, is this... Is this recorded? No, this is really me tomorrow at 1 p.m. And I'm really going to give you the master class of all master classes for publishing. You will know more after watching that than 95% of publishing industry experts. You will know that, for instance, if your book is published on CreateSpace, you will now realize that, you know what? You will never get into Barnes & Noble. You will never get into brick and mortar bookstores because your book is not returnable. It says it right when you scan the barcode. It shows up at Barnes and Noble and it says create space. And they know that they cannot sell that book because the book cannot be returned. And if bookstores bought tons of create space books and then couldn't sell them, they would go broke. So Jeff Bezos at Amazon knows this, right? And he wants to dominate all of CreateSpace books to Amazon sales versus brick and mortar book sales. This is the little stuff that I'm going to teach you about tomorrow that you probably have no idea. Why? Because most people don't know this. If your book's only on CreateSpace, you will never be able to do pre-sales. And for those of you who are just on CreateSpace now, don't worry. I'm going to share a really cool strategy tomorrow to, to help salvage your book and spike your sales in a, in a ethical way. I'll teach you that tomorrow. But here's the point. Um, CreateSpace does not allow pre-sales for their physical books. So the bummer thing is, is that all the other people who are traditionally published, me six times until I discover this model, but what I, well, now all my books are uh, through Author Academy Elite, Elixir Project was, and that was exciting, right? But here's the point. Um, we, we hack the system in, in, a, in a ethical way, which means that we're able to get your book up for sale three months, six months, two months prior to your book being released. Why is this important? Because all bestseller lists count the uh, pre-sale with the first week of sales. So check that out. If your book's not able to be up for pre-sale until you hit publish on CreateSpace, Good luck because all the other people who are playing the game, who are authors, they're able to count all of their six months prior sales, six months, five months, four months, three months, two months, one month, uh, and then the first week. All that counts for the bestseller list. This is why so many people, they step up to the batter's box of publishing and they try swinging for the fence and they realize they're holding a wiffle bat while everyone else is holding the state-of-the-art latest bats, right? And if you think, well, gee, the answer is just to be a traditionally published, it's actually not. I'm going to show you tomorrow how, how much money you really do make if you're traditionally published and how much money is the average advance that the average first-time author makes and how to get an agent. And if you can't get an agent, um, why not? I'll, I'll go through all those things tomorrow on the webinar. So, Eric, if you can share that link as well. I'm not against traditional publishers. They're great people. They're super kind. In fact, I think that uh, probably less than 1% of all people should be published by traditional publishers. And there are reasons, and I'll talk about those reasons tomorrow. But most people do not even have that option because they don't have what's called a big enough platform. And a platform means that the book selling buying power, book book buying power of, of your tribe. And most people don't have any of that. 
And so think about it. If you're a traditional publisher and you can go with this person who has 25,000 likes on their Facebook page that are actually real, that they didn't buy, and they have, you know, whatever, 15,000 Twitter followers and 100,000 people on their email list, if, would you invest in this author or would you invest in this author who says, I don't really have a platform, but I wrote a good book. No, listen, even if it's a good book, what they're saying is like, we're going to stick 50 grand in this person with, with cover design, interior design, editors, distribution, sales. We're going to stick 50 grand into this author who has zero buying power, or we go stick it in this author who pretty much is guaranteed that they're going to sell a bunch. Again, traditional publishers are not bad, but that's the game that you're playing. And so for years, people thought, well, the only option I have then is to be self-published. And then I have to do it all myself. Actually, that is a horrible lie, right? Um, tomorrow, you're going to realize that actually my students don't have to settle for either of those options. Why? Because just like you met Melissa on Friday night, and if you're like, who's Melissa? Join the free Facebook group. There's no catch. There's no, all you do is hit join and you get approved and you can see Melissa and all these other people and you'll get the five day challenge for free as well. But anyway, Melissa was Friday. Mary was Saturday. Derek was Sunday. Linda, we had a little bit of audio trouble last night. So Linda and Jim are both going to be tonight. You guys can ask questions to them. You can Google them. You can research these people and realize, wow, they are crushing it. And they are because they followed a system that I teach, which unless you know this system, you, you pretty much have to settle for one of these two other options. And over here, you're going to lose control. And over here, you're going to lose profit. And so it's kind of a toss up unless you understand what I'm teaching tomorrow. Again, we have 10,000 seats. We're up close to 8,000 and we're on pace with what we've been tracking to reach 10,000 tomorrow and then be completely sold out of the, the webinar. So even though it's free, we just had to buy the seat. So this is something that I have footed the bill for. Uh, my team and I, David, my fantastic business partner, um, we are staffing, you know, the entire thing, the five day challenge, the, the, um, the webinar, everything, and it's free for you guys. So I hope you like it and awesome. Um, Rodney says, Carrie, in writing a dynamic fiction or for that matter, a nonfiction book, what is acceptable amount of time to conduct research for the book? Rodney, here's the point. If you give yourself five years, it will take five years. If you give yourself six months, it will take six months. If you give yourself 30 days, it will take 30 days. How do I know this? Because this is a principle which says that, um, that the longer you wait to do something, check this out, right? Parkinson's law. That's it. I was trying to recall it. It's called Parkinson's law. And it says that um, the more time you have to do accomplish a task, the more complicated it becomes. Seriously, if you don't believe me, think back to college or school if you went, if you went to school. If the teacher assigned a project on the first day of school, if you would have completed that within 24 hours, you would have been done. And guess what? Your subconscious would have been able to be creative again. And it would have been able to be um, uh, resourceful and productive. But here's what most people do on the first day. Let's be honest. They say, oh, we got to do a project at the end of the semester. And what they do is they store that away in their subconscious mind, right? And then what happens is they're not thinking about it with their conscious mind, but their subconscious mind is grinding on it. Why? Because this is the way God made our minds. We store information and we think about things that are deadline oriented, even if we aren't consciously thinking about it. So get this, Rodney, if you would say I have five years to complete my research, that task would become so complex and you would get, in my words, you would get hacked. You'd get sidelined, sabotaged, distracted. You would give up. But if you give yourself 30 days and you say, I'm going to go after research and at 30 days, I'm done. Then what happens, Rodney, is once you hit the 30 day deadline, you are now free to go write your book. And will there be other things that come into your awareness while you're writing your book? Absolutely. But Rodney, I do not like to give people timelines because I know that if I give you four months, you'll take four months. If I give you 
a week, you'll take a week. Why? What would you do if you had a week deadline? You would cut everything else out, just like the college illustration, where the people who wait till the very last minute, what do they do? They spend the next 24 hours the night before just crushing it and making it work. Then they're dead tired and they cranked it out. And here's what's crazy, Rodney. Your body actually produces um, neurochemicals so that you feel like you're in flow and you get that adrenaline. That's one thing, but you also get, um, you get serotonin, right? You get uh, anandamide, you get um, uh, epinephrine, you get all these different neurochemicals in your body so that you feel like you're firing and you feel like you're alive. Here's the little trick, Rodney, that most people don't know. By the way, I teach all this in Elixir Project. Go to elixir.carryoverburner.com. I'll mail you a free book today. My lady, Terry in Tennessee, she's already got them there. She's got them ready to go. We just ask that you cover shipping and handling. But here's the point, Rodney. Um, you can create an artificial deadline. You don't need the end of the semester deadline. You just bring it up all the way to, I got one week to do research. And guess what? You do it. And what happens is your body and your mind begin to feel like they are still in a deadline scenario and they, and you crush it and you get that same feeling of neurochemicals. We call it flow. Mihai Csikszentmihalyi wrote a book. He was a Hungarian um, psychologist and he wrote a book called flow. He's the grandfather of flow, right? Who came up with this principle. Anyways, cool stuff. We don't have time to get in that today. I, I got way off topic. I'm going to go scroll all the way down. I'm going to keep scrolling. We had a ton of people that are in the six figure group. I mean, all these people, tons of people. Um, thank you so much. Over 30, we're going to hit 3,500 in the next few hours. Um, and then we're probably going to hit the 10,000 mark in our webinar um, real soon as well. So jump in, folks, if you can. If you haven't signed up for the five day challenge, Erica just typed it for me. Thank you. You go there. Since clarity comes in the action, I'm concerned about the timing of my book title for the trailer and then changing things as I birth the book. Here's the point, Brenda. You don't need a book trailer until you're close. You do not need a book trailer six months before. You don't. Why? Because you know what? Probably your book isn't up on Amazon yet. And so you've given people no call to action. You've just said, I'll watch this trailer. And it's not like the movie Wonder Woman, where people are talking about it in pop culture. So they're like, you know, even movies that show a trailer like Wonder Woman, when does it start picking up? It starts picking up the week of. When did we go nuts with the eclipse, right? We went nuts like a few days before, even though some people were buying, you know, your planners are buying the uh, glasses like a month before. Very few people get it on the radar till right before the deadline. So Brenda... You don't need to worry about creating that trailer until you're much closer. And then there's a strategy. We teach you how to use a trailer. We actually teach you how to create three different types at the end. You can do this for less than a hundred bucks. Okay. A killer trailer. Tons of my students have amazing trailers, less than a hundred bucks, but we teach you that you want three call to actions, three different types of trailers. It doesn't cost you anymore, but you got to put it on the ending a certain way. Otherwise, Amazon won't let you use that trailer. Barnes and Noble won't let you use that trailer. So there's certain strategies and techniques that we teach in that as well. Laura, who's one of my students, thank you, Laura. I just saw this. Carrie's system gets you through the process smoothly and easily. He answers all my questions and really helps get my books published. And Laura's one of my students, thank you, Laura. Her book, Demon Town, comes out real soon. Awesome. Um, here's the link for the bonus. So yeah, if you guys share this, I want you to absolutely get the bonus. We're going to end pretty soon, but do not miss this bonus. This bonus will give you immediately, immediately a free ebook. This free ebook is called how to turn a book into a six figure business. It's also going to get you signed up for the webinar as well. So you actually get both things. You get, um, the webinar, you get the ebook for free. All these things are free and you can learn and test it. And if it doesn't serve you, you know, delete it. My guess is it's probably going to blow your mind. Um, I'm excited. Why? Because it blew my mind. All right. I'm the guy who failed with my first three books. And I didn't fail, but I had to keep my day job. 
right? I wrote, I wrote books. They sold fine. They were published by traditional publishers. Even they were in Barnes and Noble and all this stuff, but I didn't know the system that I teach now, which is how to turn your book into 18 streams of income and six figures. Iris says I've, I've done so many calls to get launch teams going for my books and I've been lucky to get one person. I hear you, Ira. And yet Linda, who you're going to meet tonight had 480 and Jim had 600 and neither of these people had websites. <laughs> they were barely on social media. So obviously the system you're doing, no, I'm not like embarrassing you. I'm just saying you made the comment, your system's not working. So rather than fight it and try to keep doing the same old system, do a system that works. Don't trust me. Listen to Jim tonight. Listen to Linda and uh, you can find for yourself. Fantastic. Donna, one of my students says, take the time to do your launch right. Take 90 days. Exactly. Awesome. Debbie wants the press kit. We shared it with you. Oh, a lot of people want the press kit. Fantastic. Love it. So if you guys want all that, look at the link. There it is right there. And Laura says the value you give us is amazing. Thank you. Um, Laura, another Laura says he provides all this stuff in author Academy elite. Fantastic. Don says, um, Elixir project course is one of the best investments I ever made. Folks, it's a $500 course. Okay. It's a $500 course around a fiction book. And all of my people say, you're charging way too small. Why? Because it's 30 days. Like this is actually five courses in one. When I create something, I don't like create that much. Okay. When I create something, I want to over deliver and blow you away. Why? Because here's a strategy. Do not miss the strategy. If you skimp people and you cheat people and you're, you're cheap on the value, you will always have to get new clients. Did you catch that? If you do not over deliver and wow and blow your clients away, you will have to spend more and more money trying to get new clients who fall for your scam. My clients, uh, who a lot of them are on this page right now, thank you guys. Um, I want to wow them. I want to over deliver them. Why? Because then they keep wanting more of what you're teaching. First, you help them with. Okay. Like I'll just tell you guys my quick buyer's journey. Ready for my quick buyer's journey? Your secret name addresses who you are, your identity. The deeper path addresses why you're here, your purpose. Day job to dream job addresses where you're going, right? Your dream job. Once you, be, once you know who you are, why you're here, where you're going, then you suddenly get clarity and clarity attracts and confusion repels. Once you get clarity, then what you want to do is you want to stop getting hacked in life. And that's the Elixir Project course. Once you are a soul on fire who's unhackable, then what happens is you want to share your message with the world and you want to become an author. And that's our program called Author Academy Elite. That little buyer's journey I just gave you guys is seven figure business. Now, Again, I'm just teaching you guys how to be six-figure business people, and that's cool. Why? Because your life changes when that happens. When you can stop going to your day job for 45, 50, 60 hours a week, like I did, I actually liked my day job, okay? I was a pastor, believe it or not. I liked people. I still like people. I loved teaching these people. I loved sharing um, the good news with them, but what I realized is that I was 80% alive, 80% alive. There was about 20% of me who was hardcore entrepreneur, who was like, you know what? We're moving too slow, you know? I really wanna impact more people. I really wanna ignite 1 million souls. Well, I could never do that while living out somebody else's dream. In other words, the lead pastor's dream, who's amazing, super nice guy, super generous, awesome. I left on really good terms, by the way. But what I did is I said, you know what? The only way I'm going to be able to do this dream full time is to start earning six figures. Why? Because I got a beautiful wife, three kids. I have a wife who's like, you know what? That's great. You have dreams, but you better provide. And I, I love that wife. Okay, Kelly, she's fantastic. Others of you, you may have spouses or partners or friends who are just like, you know what? You can do anything. Go do anything. You can do anything. I knew that I better know what I'm doing. Right. And so anyways. I took that quick journey 
and uh, I, I, I learned this system. And after a few years, some of my clients began saying, how do you do this system? Teach us, show us. And so that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. So tomorrow, I'm going to teach you that system. It's free to come there and uh, would love for you guys to do that. Um, we have a ton of questions. So many people uh, at, responded to all kinds of things. Uh, we'll talk about this tomorrow, okay? And uh, tonight, uh, we'll jump on. So Donna, thank you very much. You said... Um, the, it is worth the investment. The value you give in return is unlike any other program out there. As you can see, Carrie is always giving. Thank you guys so much. I had a blast. Um, Barbara says, I am traditionally published. I didn't know that I needed to do the marketing. You absolutely need to do the marketing. And again, I didn't know that either, Brenda or, or uh, Barbara. So don't worry. I was with you with my first few books. I'm like, oh, cool. I got traditionally published. I guess the, the traditional publisher is going to do it all. If you're going to have the traditional publisher look at you and say, you better do all the marketing anyways, why give them 85%? I mean, that's a good question, right? That's what we're going to talk about tomorrow. Again, not against traditional publishers. Less than 1% should do it, and I'll talk about those people. Um, I haven't written it off forever and ever for me, but the point is this. For the bulk of people, you really do not need to settle for self-publishing or traditional publishing. There is another way. I'll show you tomorrow. And Georgette says, thank you. Um, Bonnie, uh, Laura says, where's the press kit? There's the press kit for the fiction book. You guys are fantastic. And hey, somebody just said Carrie loves people. So I'll leave on that point because that's a good point. All right, thanks guys so much. Hope you sign up for the five-day challenge because if you do, you will not miss any of the things that I've shared. And we'll talk to you very soon. See you. Bye.